All right, you guys wondering how my new parking lot held up against the rain. The first weekend of rain that we had was 12 inches of rain. And I mean, it's still standing here. It kind of washed the guff off the top of it and exposed the little bit of gravel that was in that stuff. But it packed pretty good and did a nice job. Didn't, didn't wash it off. Right here, I had a little bit thick because they dropped six loads the day before the rain. So I just kind of spread it around the best I could. It was dark. But I got 17,000 pounds of three quarter and fines dump on it right now i'm gonna go get another load just so i can get something mixed in i got two truck and transfers coming next week uh with better stuff for driving on it's got more clay and dirt in it so that it'll pack and hold together rather than this stuff where it just kind of just rock but stuff that's on the ground is the same stuff that's in the truck they're right down the road so i'm gonna see if they'll dump this full 17 000 pounds well i had to get this horse dog to help but it's lifting it boom get out of there come on back up actually i had to put the jump box on it Hooking 24, just kidding, just 12. And she's dumping. Come on, Boone, get back. Showed this in the last video where I had to dump trailer, but if I just barely hit the button, somewhere here, it'll go into gravity mode. So that's just gravity down. Appears to be taking its time because it's cold, but they were saying it leaked everywhere with theirs, but not leaking nothing. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna do a little math for cost comparison. For when the truck and transfer shows up that's a dump truck with a trailer that slides into the back of his truck so right here is four hundred dollars worth of stone uh technically i guess it would be considered wholesale that's seventeen thousand pounds 15 and then 14 that was loaded with a smaller loader it was nice because he was able to put the stuff towards the back so it dumped easier but uh 17 it had a little bit of trouble it was with the big loader so it was the whole bed I don't know we're gonna have to do something different but anyway so there's 400 bucks worth of stuff here and it's taking me about three hours to haul all this in so that's a hundred an hour which you probably need to get a little bit more than that not much but let's just say 300 for the trucking and 400 for this so we got 700 bucks worth of stuff right here delivered and we'll see how much um the truck and transfer guy holds because this is uh 17 000, let's see 30 about well, 45 000 pounds so that's about what he would haul, but I'm going to smooth this out real quick. I mean, skid steers are so nice. Made a video last year fixing something muddy road and why i didn't put fabric down is because uh um, we just never put fabric down anywhere and kind of went with this today without the uh, dirt mixture in it because it's cheaper than the stuff that's going to be coming with truck transfer that'll be more for up there it'll be good compacting for the road but down here i was like oh it's going to kind of mix with the dirt anyway i don't mind it kind of settling if i got to put some more on later on that's fine with me uh for what i'm aiming for this is doing exactly what I was wanting. I could have moved the trailers out, spread this even thinner, but it's it's pretty thick here in the center. I'll have them tailgate, all that, all that up and around, and then I'll have them go down towards the shop with around too. And next year I'll put in a ditch and put a drainage so that it doesn't have to bottleneck and go that way. Yep, he showed up right on time. Coincidence I had today off because we got rained out, but this happens to be the owner of the company, not the guy that's hauled the last couple rounds. But he's just going to tailgate the virgin stuff up there where it's good soil, good hard pack. I don't want him coming out here because he'll definitely get stuck. <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez here, boy. Damn. This is supposed to be three quarter and it's supposed to have some dirt in it. So that it'll hold together. You can see bluestone over there versus the normal stuff. This is what I wanted the first couple times, but I didn't know to 
He had to go to a different plant for it. just enough to do that little spot a trailer that goes inside that box that he'll hook onto slide it in there and then he's going to do one more round so it'll be a total of four dump truck moves. look how freaking sweet that comes out I go over that bunch of the skid steer real quick, pack it in. I know it's always different, different areas you go to and stuff, but you can see the panel you know, drives over the top of it. That way the truck can still be as most maneuverable as it can and still have maximum payload when he's going to every job site. Just like that, quick as butter out of the second run. But he uh, recommended that we go with something different because I didn't, when I ordered this stuff, I didn't think it was this swampy out here. It's not bad, but it's not perfect. So what we're gonna do is he's gonna go to the place I got this stuff from and get next size up and dump truck transfer load for that here. So that's, it's nice when the guy driving the truck knows what he's talking about. So he's gonna tailgate this. I just cut a couple branches. I gotta act all calm, cool, and collected, but I just spider monkeyed up that tree with my electric chainsaw and cut some branches off. Because uh, I didn't think we are gonna get to this today, but it's gonna work out perfect. Clink. Oh man. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna have to pack that in with Skitty today. He kind of rolls it in a little bit with the truck as he's going as well. See how packed that looks up there. trips back and forth cover all the ground we got to talk to this spot right here running it with my elbow hang on oh it's a dirt spot it's not doing bad right there that'll work There's about 40,000 plus pounds of one by three. Spread that out real quick.
guys, what do you think? We got no more. Well, it wasn't really that muddy over here, but I mean, if there was any mud, we weren't going to be tracking it up to the house because around that corner, it does turn to black top. I don't really like a bunch of mud on there, but I keep all the work equipment down here. So I'm not about to black top this gravel works perfect because skid steers, steel track machines, they can tear up gravel and you just smooth it out. It's not a big deal. You chew up asphalt and it's going to be a big issue. But we want to put the bigger stone right here because it's kind of a soupy mess, but it's not terrible. Skid steer gets around on it just fine, but all said and done, put the big stuff on it. Let it, you know, settle in and make a good foundation layer. And then I can put this uh, cheaper three quarter over the top of it. But it is a treat to have this all finally covered up. I probably should have just done this right from the start. But then again, I didn't know this like, I don't know, what is that? Like 70, 80 feet across, maybe longer over to the 080 or the 180. You know, and then 80 feet deep, 80 by 80 at least, of new property I didn't even know I was going to get. So, you know, things just happen as time goes on and you just roll with it. But let's go ahead and talk about the difference in pricing and which truck trailer setup was obviously more efficient. I mean, it's going to be obvious, but let's break it so, down. So, with the dump trailer, I hauled three loads. It took me three hours, and it was equivalent to one of his truck and trailer loads that he hauled in an hour and a half. So, right off the bat, he's hauling three times the amount I'm doing. Uh, his round trip time was half hour slower to go to the quarry and back. You know, he's got a two scoops or so for the loader. Just drive time's probably gonna be a little bit slower with the bigger rig, cause he's heavier and all that stuff. But he's already more than twice as fast, three times as fast, whatever you want to count it. It's way faster and way more efficient. You know, all said and done. Uh, if it takes me three hours, it took him an hour and a half. That's easy math on that. But for me going and doing something like this, if I needed a couple loads, the dump trailer would be perfect. But let's go ahead and break down the price on it. If I charged a hundred per hour, three hundred bucks. That's what he charged me for his hour and a half uh, round trip. Well, for the two loads, he charged me six hundred. So just cut that in half. Three hundred bucks a trip, somewhere around that nature. Not bad at all. And all said and done, they do a hell of a job tailgating. That is freaking nice down there. I can't even believe how nice that is. You know, it's simple things like that that just, you're stoked on. But anyway, obviously the bigger truck's more price effective, but if you think about how much that truck, that truck is very reasonable price per hour with an operator and everything in it. The guy that was driving today, he is the owner of the company. Been doing it for like 30 years. They just, he just bought that company. So he's got seven trucks running. I'm trying to get as much information as I can from every local boy to see how much how worth it it is to get a semi because as it sits if you go out a truck and trailer gooseneck setup like this with the dump trailer that's somewhere around thirty thousand bucks msrp on one of those things same thing with the gooseneck in that nature and then you're looking to spend if you get a slightly upgraded truck not just a tradesman uh you could be into it about a hundred thousand bucks that truck that he just showed that's all brand new stuff by the way we're just we're spitballing brand new stuff obviously you can get uh older stuff for a little bit cheaper but like he was saying, the older stuff was just nickel and diamond him. He was spending more trying to keep the old stuff going than he would have been spending on a new truck payment. And that truck he's got there, 190,000 bucks just for the truck. He's had it for like eight, nine months or something like that. And he's, he's been loving it. It's got no issues. It's been rocking and rolling, full emissions and all that stuff. But that just, I mean, everywhere's going to that now. So I don't know what to tell you. You know, longer weight and dirt perfect and all them out there, out that way. They got their straight pipe stuff, which is freaking awesome. But there's a couple of boys out here that still run that stuff, but a little bit under the radar. For me to say I'm gonna go buy a dump truck, it'll have to be, have a driver in it, a semi and stuff like that. It just doesn't make enough sense price point wise. Obviously there's money in it, I know there is, but maybe later on down the road, we'll get something, but I, I wanna get more information talking to these people, see how much it actually costs to keep these things rolling. But uh obviously it takes more time to haul smaller trips but price break breakdown very similar we'll see you guys in the next one let me know what you guys think um if you're gonna comment something like just go get a semi my p.o box is in the description go ahead send it there I, I think the post office can handle that kind of a delivery make sure you got a decent sized trailer for me i want to be able to haul two machines just kidding we'll see you guys later
All right, boys, extended overtime outro. Just got done editing that, and I feel like there's some stuff I need to talk about before I read about it in the comment section. Some stuff to address, such as why did each one of my loads not have a consistent amount of weight in them? First one had 17, then 15, and 14. Was the dump trailer not cutting it? Was it having trouble, so I went with less weight? No, it dumped 17,000 pounds, so why wouldn't I just get 17 again? Here's what happened. The big loader at the quarry, something happened to it. Broke down, they're doing maintenance, I don't know. But they started loading me with a smaller loader. And his scoop only runs about 14, 15,000 pounds and you'd have to reload. So after he did one scoop, we thought we were done. Went and scaled out on the second load, realized I was a little bit light. But I said, screw it, I'm going to head home, I'll come back for another one. And they even were even more light on the third one, 14,000 pounds. Now, I want this new dump trailer to run about 16, 17,000 pounds with the payload on a regular basis. That way it justifies the price and purchase and everything of stepping up to a bigger gooseneck dump trailer. Because the old one, uh, I ran around 12,000 pounds on the little bumper pull and that was pretty consistent. It dumped it perfect. So this one's got to dump a little bit more. So this time when they only put 14,000 pounds, I was like, man, that's barely even worth it. Could have done that with my little one. They wanted me to drive all the way to the back of the quarry and do all that again. I said, no, screw this. This is my last load for the day. I ain't going to go back there for another ton. I was like, whatever. So granted, I am a little light on each load. So how it worked out that what I hauled with those three loads was literally identical to what the truck transfer hauled. That was just weird coincidence. I'm not trying to, you know, say some BS or something. I, I got the scale tickets. If you want to email me, I'll send them to you. They're out in a truck. But I added them up and gosh dang. Literally exactly what the truck and transfer is hauling. Obviously he's a lot faster, but I'm still impressed that the little dump trailer behind the, uh, well, I mean, it's not that small. It's kind of a big dump trailer as far as they go. But two and a half loads is what, uh, two and a half, three, probably two and three quarter loads, probably somewhere in there, is what, you know, dump truck loads. Truck and transfer, and he's pretty much two dump truck runs. That little trailer is doing a lot of work. I'll give it that. We'll see you guys next one. Like, comment, subscribe. We will see you later.